there <laughs> for certain. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we, we don't know. Um, the Jets. Um, uh, come on, y'all. Come on. Y'all made some great moves in the offseason. Y'all signed Le'Veon Bell to a contract. You signed C.J. Mosley. Mm -hmm. You make a bunch of other moves. I thought the draft for the Jets was good. Um, nothing, you know, yeah, out remember. of the ordinary. Yeah, I um, what's the guy? Williams. They drafted Williams okay. in the first round, which okay. was a good pick. So, the offseason, they had a good offseason. But why? Why, Jets, do you have to fire your general manager in the middle of May? Yeah. It's May. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> What the hell possibly happened? Yeah, so I, I, I got a theory. Because the Jets are so bad at this mm -hmm. when it comes to switching coaches and not switching the GM with the coach. Yeah. They did this when they fired Rex. They had uh, Tannenbaum. They let Tannenbaum go and they let Rex go. Um, and Idzik was still there. And then Bowles came in and then they got rid of Idzik mm -hmm. during Bowles' tenure. And then McCagnin came on so for me uh, again this is from a guy who's got a franchise or has a team that knows how to stabilize the front office and all that good stuff mm -hmm. if you're gonna fire Todd Bowles then why not fire McTagnet if you want to just keep those guys at the hip and yeah. if you bring somebody in new then bring in a brand new staff front office general manager yeah. coaching yeah. All that stuff. So they got Adam Gase. And I'll be honest, I didn't like the fact that the Dolphins let him go so quickly. Because mm. I, I didn't think the season was quite his fault in a sense. I thought him not having the quarterback healthy for, you know, that period of time. Tannehill. Uh, I might guess. But he, he didn't have his quarterback. That's the thing. Yeah. We, we, we talk about having a quarterback available and he didn't have it. Now... He went and got Jay Cutler, and now that probably would got him fired. Yeah. But, you know, needless to say, um, so we come to the Jets, and, you know, right off the bat, Jets fans don't like it, and, you know, there's like, oh, why are you getting the guy from the Dolphins within the same division and things like that? But fans, they got a little bit better after Greg Williams signed on as a D mm -hmm. coordinator, mm -hmm. and they thought, okay, this could work. You will have a much tougher defense, a team that could contend for a wild card. Yeah. Yeah. And again, with the draft, they made the moves. Yeah. McCadden made the moves. He got Bell and he got Mosley to contracts and, you know, all was fine and good. So apparently there's been some kind of power struggle within the organization. Of course. And Adam Gase somehow won the battle over the existing general manager who's now the former that sounds super ridiculous yeah but like, it, yeah it, it, i'm like that sounds ridiculous i'm like the how coach that was just born in yeah and got pulled over the gm right and he's done nothing as the coach yet yeah he has yet the general to manager himself. has done something as the general manager so far that, right that's for certain right so here's a rumor as to why there was a power struggle mm -hmm. Apparently, Adam Gase did not want to sign Le'Veon Le Bell, Bell to that big contract. Mm -hmm. And even Le'Veon came out on Twitter and said, Hey, look, whatever the reports are, if they're true or not, I'm here. Yeah. I want to win. I want to play. I want to yeah. be available. Yeah. Shout out to Le'Veon for yeah. uh, you know yeah. being upfront and professional about that. Yeah. Um, this is another shit show with the Jets. I mean, we talk about the Lakers and stuff. And this, the Lakers is a shit show. Yeah, this, 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 the Jets, show. this is another shit show yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's going to be interesting to see if the guy that you didn't want is on your roster and you got a full season to go through. I'm interested to see that dynamic. I'm going to tell you what. Le'Veon Bell's play is going to change all that. I ain't want him real shit real quick. Oh, of course. That's going to change really quick. Of course. I don't even think this is going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. When... When you it's, know if if they're winning, nah, I think if they're winning, Le'Veon Bell's production mm -hmm. is going to change all that shit. When when Sam Donald doesn't get killed mm -hmm. because you threw a quick screen to Le'Veon Bell that got them seven yards, mm -hmm. all that shit's going to end really quickly. All that shit's going to end really quickly. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't think I don't think it's going. I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I don't think 
all that drama on that front yep. is going to last very long. And let's be clear, I don't know where I have, I mean, I don't have them, I don't know if I have them going to the playoffs this year, and they're definitely not going to win a division. Yep. Um, but they could be good this year. 